Let's take you to China now because the French President Emmanuel Macron and the head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, are on a three-day trip there in hopes of resetting relations. No matter how hard we try to fit the US into biblical prophecy, the truth is, it seems as if it's simply not there. What lies in store for this nation that for so long has been the help of the world and the hammer of the whole earth is uncertain. So many things are working against it, including the people who are in charge of it. In our last video, we've seen that China is forming a new table, a new League of Nations that is essentially leaving the US out. The greatest nation on the planet is not even getting an invitation to the party. In case you are doubtful whether this is true or not, the latest development with France and China paints a pretty sobering picture. Now, the mainstream media is reporting that French President Emmanuel Macron went to the East to convince China to bring Russia to its senses. This seems like it was hardly even on the real agenda to begin with. Macron stated that France was interested in becoming a third pole superpower with China and the United States. This falls right in line with the prediction of the World Economic Forum, which stated that the US will no longer be the world's leading superpower by the year 2030. France is looking to assert itself as a world dominant superpower. If this happens, then the World Economic Forum would have managed to train and install its very own world leader in Macron. Yes, the French president is reportedly a product of the World Economic Forum. There are others currently in power, but are not the pure product of the WEF as the French president is. For this reason, the rhetoric that Macron is mindlessly spewing against the US, a nation that has repeatedly been a source of support for France, is fully expected. According to Politico, Macron stated after his meeting with the Chinese president Xi Jinping that Europe must resist pressure to become America's followers. I believe that the powers that be are smelling blood in the water and soon there will be very few allies for the waning superpower as all the world leaders gravitate to where the power, money and products are. Macron also suggested that Europe should reduce its dependence on the extraterritoriality of the US dollar. As the US economy buckles under the pressure of bad management, the dollar is taking a beating. While this nation rushes away from fossil fuels and energy independence, the rest of the world is still dealing in gold, oil, and gas. Macron took with him scores of business leaders to China. I guess it was to talk about Russia. Yeah, that's what it was. All we can do is pretend we don't see it. Don't worry, there are many elitists who are still heavily invested in old energy. You see, these fine folks are bigger than any citizenry or any pretentious altruistic ideology. The truth is, all these things must come to pass in order for the time of the end to occur. As long as America was the only world superpower, then the time of the end remained in the future. Now we see the literal new world order forming before our very eyes. And the structure of it is shaping into exactly what the Bible prophesied it would be. The last kingdom or empire to govern the world is seen as the feet of iron and clay in the image that Nebuchadnezzar dreamed, Daniel 2, 41 and 42. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part iron, the kingdom shall be divided and there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. The last kingdom is described as partly strong and partly broken. The frailty of this last day empire will come upon the back of deception and underhandedness produced by the wickedness of man and its fleshly desire for power and pleasure. In other words, the system has to be broken in order to see the rise of the last kingdom. The emerging power hungry world leaders are diabolically scheming to see the fall of the one current leading superpower, America. The assault has for the last 50 years been via infiltration. Now we see the emergence of the truth. The kings of the earth are gathering together to usurp the authority of one. This is despite all the nations of the earth feasting at its tables for decades. Some may ask, what's wrong with there being more than one world superpower? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But who will those other world leaders be? 
communist leaders whose countries ensure that Bibles are outlawed and Muslims and Christians are incarcerated in concentration camps and prisons? Maybe leaders whose mentors and predecessors systematically slaughtered millions of their own people as a matter of convenience? The people that complain about democracy, capitalism and Western values, namely Judeo-Christian principles, the very principles they are fighting to abolish are the very principles that give them the power to speak. It's sad that they do not possess the acuity to see it. Time is winding down and the world stage is being set for the arrival of the Antichrist. For the believers of Jesus Christ, our stage should be set for the arrival of Jesus Christ. We do not know how badly the power grabbers want power and how far they are willing to go to get it. But the plea remains, pray for America that it will be able to survive until the coming of the Lord. Pray that if it ceases to be the nation it was meant to be, it was only because there was a great revival which ushered in the rapture, leaving nothing but a shell of America's former glory. Now think about that.